All right then gang, so to finish this up, I just want to tackle this error message right here. This is the error we see if we try to access a job details page with an ID of a job that doesn't exist. So I want to make this look a little bit better for the user. Now there's two steps in doing this. The first step is to go to the server and handle the error that side and send back a 404 response code. So let me first of all go to the server, which is this file id.json.js. And right here, what we want to do is check if this is a success. Do we have an actual job? And if we do, we'll go ahead and do this. If we don't have that, then we're going to go ahead and instead set the status code to be 404, meaning not found, and then send back a custom error message. So let me do that if check right here. If job, meaning do we have a job? Is there a valid result from this? Because if there's not a result, then it's going to be evaluated as false right here. But if we do have a job, we want to do this thing right here. We want to send it back to the user. Now, if we don't have a job, in that case, let's find the else block. And in here, I'm going to take the response and the status code. And I'm going to set that equal to 404, meaning not found. So we're going to send that back to the browser, this status code. And we can detect that in the browser. We also want to end this response by sending a custom message. So json.stringify. And the message is going to be inside an object and there'll be an error property on that which says that job does not exist. So that ultimately is what I want to display over here as an error message as well as the 404. All right then, so that's it. That's pretty much it taken care of on the server. The request comes in, we try to find the job. If the job is there, we send back that job. If the job is not there, we set the status code to be 404 and instead send an error. All right. So now we want to go into this component where we try to fetch that job, all right? Now, what we need to do inside here is check for the status code that comes back on the response. So we can do that on this thing right here. Now, automatically, if we have a job, that status is going to be 200, meaning everything was okay. So we can check that. If there's a status of 200, then what we want to do is this step right here. We want to take that response and pass it so we have access to the job. So let's check now if and then response.status is triple equal to 200 that means everything is okay at that point we want to grab these things and we want to paste them in here so we're getting the job and we're returning that now then if that's not the case we also want to check for a status of 404 which we pass back down right here if the job doesn't exist so i'm going to say if response.status is triple equal to 404 this time then in that case i want to get the error in the same way we got the job so i'm going to say const and then we need to destructure this time because we placed it inside an object right here so if we take a look this is the object and the error is a property on the object whereas the job was the object itself that we sent back last time so we don't need to destructure here but we are destructuring a property from the response now so const error is equal to await and then we take the response dot json so now we're just grabbing the error property from the response json and now what we can do is throw some kind of error in sapper now the way we do that in sapper is by using this dot error and we can do that inside this preload function so if there's an error we can say this dot error and we can pass in two things first of all the status code of the error and that is ultimately the thing that's going to show over here if we go to some invalid url you know the big status code 404 and then the second thing is the message which is going to be the error which we grabbed right here and that remember is this that job does not exist okay so what happens when we use this this dot error is that sapper then shows the error component wherever that is let me close this this thing right here shows this component in the browser instead and it takes in the status that we passed it which is 404 and it also takes in the message which is this thing right here all right so let's save that and try this again and you can see already 404 that job does not exist if we click on one that's okay that all works but the minute we go to one where the job doesn't exist we get this better error message instead all right the gang so that is the website pretty much done do check out the documentation if you want to learn more about sapper 
The link is going to be left down below. It's really good documentation and it goes into detail. And also in the future, I will probably do more with Svelte and Sapper, maybe even bring Firebase into the mix as well. So then, my friends, I really, really hope you've enjoyed this series. And if you have enjoyed it, please don't forget to share, subscribe and like. That really means a lot and it helps out an enormous amount. And if you do want to join the cause and support the channel, you can do by clicking the join button on the channel homepage or underneath the video right down below. You also get a little cool ninja badge next to your name in the comments for that. And it's 99 pence or cents per month. And I've also created several premium in-depth courses on Udemy. So the first one is Modern JavaScript. The second one is D3 and Firebase. And the third one is Vue.js and Firebase. So if you want to take one of those, all the links with the discounts automatically applied to them are going to be in the video description down below. So again, thanks so much for watching. And I'm going to see you in the very next course.